Hey, what's up? Welcome back to a new episode on the channel. Today we are animating this alarm clock app and we are doing this of course in principle. So let's get right into the app. Let's import the open file that is opened in Sketch. And there we have it. It's easy as that. And what we can do to create a nice screen transition between these two screens right here is to select this button for example and we want this button to redirect to our second screen or second artboard. Now what we are going to do is to create a nice uh, effect once we click this button and I would basically just like to have the button on our second screen at the one uh, level above the background just like that and if we go deeper in this folder we see that we have like a file uh, like an element right here which is our circle oval and the shape now what we are going to do is to say on this screen our button should be really big. I want to really cover all of the screen, the whole area like right here. Now we can center this up like this. Just use the buttons. Oh, this didn't really work somehow. But basically that's what I'm going to do. You see that it like flips to the second screen but not in a nice way. Many items move from one level to the other level and yeah. So what we need to do is to rename this to Big Oval again. So this was the normal name and when we click it you see that it's expanding its size to this bigger uh, background. And of course I don't want to keep this red fill I of course want to have a nice blue fill as we saw it before there was this oval like that. We can make it even a bit darker like about that. And once we click it right now you see that it's turning into this dark blue. Now we, get, we have to get rid uh, of these weird elements that are flowing around as we are doing it all the time and yeah so <laughs> let's just do this again give all of these layers that are flipping around a different name a, a unique name so we also see this arrow at the top is moving around so give this arrow a unique name and tr yeah, just try to test it out so you see everything should, okay, should be okay. I'm going to do this right now. I'm going to try to minimize the weird elements that are floating around and after that we should have a nice animation. So it's really easy actually to animate in principle and I also like the way to expand these buttons because most of the designers that are using print uh, that are using uh, Android Material Design also are also doing that, and I actually quite like that. So we have to get back to this bottom tick right here to this check icon, and we should just try to make to give it a unique name. Somehow we are going to fix the problems that we still have. For example, you see that there, are, there are still an icon moving around, which looks like it's this shape, but I'm not really sure about that. I'm trying to find it out. And that's also part of designing in principle. Ah, there we have it. And we you see that... Uh, it's probably the shape that we have right here. So I 
what we are going to do is to rename the folder but it's still flying around that's kind of weird now you see now that we change the name again uh, you see that we don't have this weird effect anymore we can also just uh, make this layer invisible right here to see if there are any other weird layers that are floating around and of course you see some red areas that are expanding so let's have a look at that I guess it's not the background but let's just try and make these layers or in this case groups unique by adding a certain number to their name to their layer name and it's still happening so there probably has to be something that is changing and you could like also search in this area right here but if we select the layer uh, sorry the, tr the transition the animation we can see different things that are happening uh, in our transition now we see we saw some weird red stuff flying around there so I guess we should just try to minimize these weird effects so I'm going to try some stuff out we have to be careful because we have different elements right here that are probably destroying our current animation and these elements are red I guess uh, and you can see that we have many elements with identical properties and that's a problem because actually we have to rename all of them but for the moment I would just get rid of the status bar so we could like minimize these weird effects and now you see that the animation is really perfect the only problem that we have that we had right now was this status bar so we could try to fix the status bar by going back and we could try to just rename the folder itself but actually we should of course rename every single element I'm, a, I'm going to do this right now because I want to have a perfect animation not something that's some steps away from perfect and we are going to try if we are able to minimize this weird buggy effect but that's a vital part of animating stuff in principle if you import stuff if you import uh, files from sketch you see now we have a beautiful uh, status bar still at the top and if we click this button you see that our whole content of our second screen is just popping in so I like the transition of this button of course but I would like to have a fading effect of the content so what we are going to do is to select all of the content right here we copy it and we paste it onto our second screen but at first we are going to group it up so we have a group and we have a, a first uh, screen and we paste it in there same name but 0% opacity so if we click the button right now you see that we have a nice fading effect of our content that's all the stuff that we're going to do for today I hope you enjoyed the small tutorial I like these expanding buttons I really like them and I hope you liked them as well. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Also make sure to click the playlist because there are like tons of tutorials about principle. 
And yeah, so thank you for your time, guys, and enjoy your week. See you.